we're gonna just get, we're gonna jam our games and we're gonna see uh we're gonna see if we can just get through our GBL sets without it crashing too many times. So yeah, the Ursa Luna team is too clever. It might we might need to go back to that in a couple days when the team comps change, right? When the team comps change, because we're not seeing a lot of Gyaradoses right now, and Gyarados is pretty good, so I'm kind of confused. There's a Gyarados. Be Dragon Breath, please. I love Dragon Breath, Gary. Okay, it's Waterfall. It's still a reasonable matchup for us, right? What does my gut say? My gut says that they probably have... Okay. Other mons on their team that are uh, good in this matchup. I, mean, I wish I had Moonblasted there. It does a lot more damage, but... Neither of us have shielded yet, so they're probably just going to be happy for the floor just to be dead. Um, I think what we're going to do, though, is just let this go. And then I'll just bring in the Snorlax as a safe swamp, basically. Okay. Well, I'm really glad about this. Because if they had just left this in the back, uh, this thing absolutely dumpsters Gyarados. This is like the worst thing in the world for Gyarados to see. Instead, we get to put uh, a Pokemon on it that's actually pretty good against it. Right? So... Turns out uh, that was not necessarily the greatest maneuver for our opponent. And we're going to obviously be matching shields here. This thing only has nukes. Okay. And what's your other answer here? They could be... Yeah, they're double charm. Okay. So the downside, obviously, is that... Uh, and we're going to go to our own Gary, like, right away here. Uh, I need them not to catch a uh, an Aqua Tail, so we're going to have to be careful about when we throw Aqua Tail. Oh, Charm is definitely not dead, but... There we go. Just a little, just a little crunch BM at the end, just for, just for shits and giggles. Why not? Why not? All right, GG. Not bad, not bad. Hey, Lord Sidious, I'm doing all right. How about you, friend? How about you? So upside is that we're seeing here, for example, I mean, yours Ursa Luna would have been fine there too, but this is what Snorlax is good for, right? Snorlax is just a really good neutral force. So we can, uh, we can, we can pull ourselves out of scenarios that are a little awkward. <laughs> I mean, it's a little, it's a little BM, but it's not like, it makes no difference, right? A crunch or an Aqua Tail there is the same. I just felt like throwing Crunch. You won't catch me out here BMing my... I mean, if I had, uh, if I had like, Hydro Pump there, I also would have Hydro Pumped my opponent, for example, right? I'm sorry, Lord Sidious. I'm glad you're enjoying it, at least. At least I don't feel like a crazy person for being like, I actually like this game. I played quite a bit of it. I hope you I hope you're having fun. That's all that matters. It scratches an itch. It does it does a good job for that. Alright, Roy. What does Roy have for us? We've got Floor just into Snorlax Arena. Okay. Uh do we have okay, there's our opponent. Wondering when my opponent would have would arrive. Nice. Yeah, I mean I have a level 99 account, so <laughs> I know it. I know it. Yeah, Snorlax was taking a little bit of a nap there. Taking a little nap. I wish we would have got an attack drop there. Attack drop would have been nice. Mm-hmm. 
It's not best buddied either, so we could we could go for some kind of uh, swap shenanigans here. If I get a shield, I probably will. Okay. Then I'm fine with that. I mean, I guess they could heavy slam me. <laughs> if I lose to heavy slam, so be it. No, body slam. Okay. It's another waterfall, Gary. But we do get to lead this matchup with a moon blast, which is great. I'm actually going to go ahead and just stay here, given that we get the shield there. Uh, because it lets us put lax in against it, which is what we want to be doing here anyway. I don't want to be going into that mirror. And this is a pretty good matchup for Snorlax. I mean, my gut tells me there's probably a... Uh, there's the crunch. Fishing for the debuff. I get it. Ah, and then floor just in the back. Okay. The old return Gary? It could be. So we're gonna we're just gonna pile on the damage here. Um, I can also switch out here and just. But I think what we're gonna do here is just be like, yeah, I think with two shields and waterfall Gary, we're gonna find a way to win this. So I'm not actually that worried about where this is going right now. I just think two shields. Oh, do I want this body slam that bad? I actually do want this body slam. I think this body slam is worth the shield. Not going to lie. And then we're here. Is this where I want to be? Not really. If it's return on Gary, that's super awkward, right? They throw mo they throw a crunch. No, they have crunch. There's no way they're on crunch return, right? No. No way they're on crunch return. That just seems like crazy talk. And then we got the defense drop. Yeah, there we go. GG's. Okay. We'll take it. Now we're starting to see Gyaradoses. I'm actually, maybe I'll actually get to this thousand Master League wins at some point. <laughs> I highly, yeah, I highly doubt they're on crunch return anyway. That just seems like, that seems like a the moveset of a psychopath. So maybe my opponent was, but they were hoping to call a bait. I wasn't going to bait them, yeah. Well, I still had the Snorlax alive too, so I was just, I was going to go straight crunch. Uh, Metagross. Okay, well, that's unfortunate for us. That is unfortunate for us. So we're going to go to Lax. Knowing that I have multiple. Okay. And then they've got a Shadow Knight. Okay. Fair enough. I was Rebel, but it doesn't work. I tried. And then uh, I realized that the options that the uh, stream presents me do not actually work for that. So we can't actually do that. Hmm. Now, the question here is, do I have a chance of winning this matchup from here? If they superpower me, no. If they Dragon Claw me, yes. But I think they'll superpower me. Nope, Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw is actually fine. And Come on. Yes, let's go. Yeah, Rebel, I, I don't want to get too much into the weeds about why the uh, ad break idea didn't work, but it just doesn't work. Okay, so we got both their shields, so that part's good. Um, I want to run my clock a little bit. And we're kind of just hoping that with the Dragonite gone, that Waterfall Gary is enough of a core breaker to get us to where we want to be. Also, I'm going to be pretty close to a Moonblast. So, um, and that's a real move, right? Moonblast is a real move that does real damage even to a uh, Metagross. So, we have a charge move ready to go there. There's also a chance that they don't have a good answer to Gyarados. 
They could be ABA weak to Gyarados. I'm not going to shield this. I hate not shielding this, but... I think it's correct not to. If they get another one, we will need to shield, but... If they have, like, an Excadrill in the back, we're going to be really glad that we kept the shield. Ah, there's our friend Excadrill. Now, I do think they have or are very close to a Meteor Mash, but I have that move already on our uh, Florgis. So if they have to throw right away to kill me, I'm just going to Disarming Voice them for the win. All right, GG's. And Waterfall Gary is good for a reason. Thank you for being ABA week to uh, <laughs> Gyarados. Big, big get for us. <laughs> it's a big get for us. Um, all right, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Plus, you know, uh, Snorlax being able to to peel off that extra shield from Dragonite was pretty good for us too. All right, Anas, what you got for us? Floor just into Magnazone. Hmm. Don't love this, obviously. Not not my favorite. But we'll just kind of chip them. They have the... So, like, what will happen here is we're going to end up going to Snorlax, and they're going to hit us with a Wild Charge. That's how this is going to go, right? Ah, no, they're going to go straight into the conk. Okay, that's actually a pretty awkward mon for us to uh, to deal with. So conk, not only a little bit bulkier than the other fighting types, but also uh, has stone edge, which hits way harder than, uh, than rock slide. Yeah, we're going to let that go. I wish I would have got the move, but that's fine. And the other problem is that Stone Edge actually uh, makes this matchup awkward, too. I, I can't farm it. Whereas I would be a little more comfortable maybe farming with Rock Slide. So... Could be Ricky. Mirror Shot does that. Okay, so they used all their energy, um, more most of their energy. Our hope now is that their team is double weak to Gary. Somehow. Right? Because if we can get through this, which we can, right? I don't think they're getting a bait and a wild charge, so I'm shielding. There's the wild charge, okay. No, it's, dra uh, it's Dragon Breath, Gary. Yeah, we can't beat that. Unfortunately, that's not what we wanted to see in the back. We needed to see like an Excadrill or uh, the whole bunch of Pokemon we ha we have a chance at with the energy lead, but it's not going to be. It's not going to be that. That's a that's a good old RPS. Yo, what's up, on Pocket? Thank you for the eleven months, friend. Appreciate it. Roll that beautiful butt footage for the resub. Thank you kindly, friend. Very much appreciate that. Let's go. All right, let's try, and, let's try and find a fourth win, though. I feel like Floor just has not been the best lead. It's just been our back line is working, right? That's really it. It's really just the fact the back line is working that's salvaging this team right now. All right, HM, good luck, friend. What do you got? Uh, Floor just into Dragonite. Well, that, however, is a nice lead for us. We can work with this. What, what may be coming in here? Ah, a Snorlax of your own, you say? Okay, well, we're definitely going to Moonblast it before going to Gary. Now, do we want to go to Gary? Do we want to go to Gary? Gary's so useful against so many things. All right, now I'll go to my own Lax. We get to come into this fight way 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 up on uh 
on health. And I think that's okay. The downside here is that there is quite a bit of time between uh, for switch advantage to, uh, say, get messed up here. So, uh, if they superpower me, I need to throw this body slam. Okay. Because I think they have two. Oh, the Dragon Knight's back. Okay. This is what I was worried about. It was a little bit the timing here is a little awkward. Because I stayed in that matchup for quite a bit of time. Like, look at the look at the timer on my end. The timer is super awkward, but that's okay. We still will get to eliminate this because we get to body slam twice and run our clock. There we go. And in, in I guess we get hurricane. That'd be bad. <laughs> Yo, Sal, that's super cold, bud. Sorry to hear it. Dragon Claw, yeah. This is this is the full farm for us. Give me the farm, buddy. Give me the farm. All right, I'll f I will throw because I'm they're they're putting on so much energy that I'm just nervous now about something unexpected. So. Ooh. I don't have a lot of energy to let go. A lot of energy to let go there. That's all right. I'm kind of banking on their last Mon being a Steel type right now. It's also why I'm not shielding this. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Shall we, uh, shall we, shall we just, yeah, that, that this is going to be over, bud. GG's. Like, I just, I can sort of predict, you had a Dragonite in the lead, you safe swamped a, uh, a Snorlax. That feels a lot to me like your back Mon is a Steel type. It needs to counter, uh, Florgis, right? Or another Charmer. Excadrill is the likely choice.